Hello there, welcome to a new video from Decosa. Today, I am here with an interesting topic. Any guesses? Yeah, you might have probably seen the title, right? Fukushima Nuclear Power Plant Disaster. You might have learned about nuclear power plants from our video about power generation. But do you know what happens when a nuclear power plant fails? So in this video, let's have a deep look into what went wrong at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. Before directly entering to Fukushima nuclear power plant, let's look at the basics of nuclear power plants. Actually, what is nuclear energy? The energy in the core or nucleus of an atom is called nuclear energy. The energy in it is what holds the nucleus together and it contains a huge amount of power. This nuclear energy can be used to produce electricity. Uranium is the most widely used fuel to produce electricity in nuclear power plants. Nuclear power can be obtained from nuclear fission, nuclear decay and nuclear fusion reaction. Nuclear decay or radioactive decay is a process of losing nuclear energy by radiation. In nuclear fusion, nuclear power is obtained by holding the atom together. Whereas in nuclear fission, atoms are split apart to produce nuclear power. Nuclear fission releases several million times more energy than any chemical reactions could. Hence, nuclear fission is used to produce electricity in nuclear power plants. So, what is a nuclear power plant? Nuclear power plant is a power plant that makes use of nuclear energy from atoms to produce electricity. In nuclear plants, atoms are split to produce massive amount of heat energy. This heat energy is used to boil water which produces steam. The steam then drives turbines which in turn drive generators that produce electricity. And currently there are 440 nuclear reactors in operation around 30 countries in the world. Nuclear plants are built usually on the shore of ocean because they provide large quantities of cooling water needed to handle the waste heat discharge. Although nuclear energy itself is a renewable energy source, but the materials used in nuclear power plants are not. Uranium is a non-renewable resource. Okay, there are two types of nuclear power plants. The nuclear plants that uses pressurized water reactor and nuclear plants that uses boiling water reactors. In a boiling water reactor, the water is allowed to boil into steam, then it is sent through turbines to produce electricity. Whereas in a pressurized water reactor, the water is not allowed to boil, instead it is held under pressure. As I mentioned in the starting of the video, nuclear fission produces several million times more energy than any chemical reactions could. So, any damage happened to the nuclear power plant can lead to a huge disaster. Have you ever heard of Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster? Fukushima power plants has boiling water reactors. Following a major earthquake on 11th March 2011, a 15-meter tsunami disabled the power supply and cooling unit of Fukushima Daiichi reactor and led to a nuclear accident. Among the six reactors, four reactors were written off due to damage in the accident. Core of three reactors melted largely in the first three days. Because of the power loss, the cooling of boiling water stopped which reduced the filtration capacity of the reactor. Hence, the operators decided to release the gas into the atmosphere to prevent contaminant rupture. Thereby, the gas is led outside the building through the chimney of the plant. But certain elements like hydrogen in the reactor leaked out in the building which further combined with oxygen led to an explosion. Hence, the operators decided to cool the reactors with water but fresh water was not available in loads. 
Hence, they used salt water to cool the reactor even though the salt was chemically active. Then the reactors were filled with seawater until they became stable. When gradually the situation stabilized, the seawater was replaced with fresh water. As time passed, the reactor regained its normal condition. Hence, by the end of December 2011, the Japanese government declared the nuclear power plant reached the cold shutdown state. The accident was rated 7 on INEA scale due to the high radioactive release over 4 to 6 days. Apart from cooling, the basic ongoing task was to prevent the release of radioactive materials, particularly in the contaminant water leaked from the three units. This task became newsworthy in August 2013. But now from years, Japan has debated over what to do with more than a million tons of water used to cool the power station which went into meltdown in 2011 after being hit by a massive tsunami. Now, the government of Japan planned to release the contaminated water into the ocean. As per the report by Greenpeace, this contaminated water contains a radioactive substance that has the potential to damage human DNA. The government says most of the radioactive isotopes have been removed using a complex filtration process, but one isotope Tritium cannot be removed. Last week, Japanese media has reported that the government of Japan has decided to release the contaminated water into sea by 2022. Let's wait and see what happens next. Hope you understand the major drawback of nuclear power plants. If any calamity occurs in the nuclear power plant, it can lead to the generation of a huge amount of radioactive waste which cannot be discharged to the atmosphere. But let's hope the technology will bring efficient ways to overcome such scenarios. So that's it with today's session. Hope this video was informative for you. So if you have any doubts and queries regarding this session, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. So see you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.